Welcome back to the channel and uh, today we're going to do a little bit of uh, experimentation. I was doing some mixing on uh, the new Durham County Band song and I noticed there was just this ever so slight difference in my right speaker. Um, I'm using Blue Sky and these are the SAT 6.5s as my near fields and I also have the sub sat set back in behind as my midfield so I can kind of audition stuff and see how it's going to sound and also get that bass reference. What I was noticing was just a slight difference in that right channel where I wasn't able to pick up the definition on some of the guitar parts and it was really kind of strange because as I EQ'd and kind of checked things, didn't make a lot of sense. So I remembered that back in the day, about six months ago, I had ordered some brand new tweeters as I had one bad one um, that was starting to sound gritty. It was still working, but it had a, a bit of a grit to it. And I assumed that the diaphragm was loose or something strange. So I thought, mm, let's find some. So I was able to find some of these guys. So that's a direct replacement. The model number is the same. Now this is a peerless and made in China. Um, the exact same size, model, everything's pretty much the same. Uh, the ones that are in there are Vifa. So I don't know whether there's a slight difference in the actual product or not. <clears throat> We're going to find out because I'm having a feeling like there's something going on with, uh, I think that one has this tweeter in it, the Peerless. And I think that doesn't have a matching tweeter on the right side. So we're going to do a real quick comparison here. Okay, so what I have here is Audio-Technica 4060 tube mic running through my Apollo. And in Logic, in Logic I have pink noise generator and the analyzer blown up. So I'm just gonna pan left and right. So here is, and what I noticed, and I'll tell you so that you can what to see what to look for. I have the pink noise generator panned hard right. And when I stop talking, you'll notice the dip at 4K. Now I'm gonna pan to the other speaker. I'm gonna pan to the left, and you'll notice nice and flat at 4K. I'll go back. So there's a quick comparison of the two. I noticed that dip at 4K, perfect example of what I was hearing. In this speaker on this side, I was definitely hearing that there was just that presence and that mid-high, that 4K, that little bite of the guitar. Uh, sometimes you'll hear snap of toms at 4K. So I was hearing this and I was wondering, um, you know, what was going on? Obviously, there's something going on there. So what we're going to do is we're going to take that tweeter and do a quick replacement with the Peerless replacement. This tweeter's been running for hmm, 12 years anyways, so maybe it's, uh, maybe it's tired. Let's find out. All right, so to save a little bit of time, I've undone the screws to uh, make the video a little bit quicker. For this specific model, it was a T15 uh, Torx or an Allen key. 
um, to get those out. And then what we're gonna do is very gently, very gently, wiggle this guy out. I'm gonna use a screwdriver just to give myself a bit of leverage. Okay, now when you take your when you take this guy out, you see that's the Vifa XT25 SC30. Pay attention to your polarity here. There is, it would be very hard to see, but on the outside on the black, there's a little plus and a minus sign. And again here, that one came off fairly easy. Gently pull these. Don't yank them. There we go. So again, here's the new XT25 TG30. So it's basically the same speaker. Um, I'm going to take this again. The positive is here. Slide that on. Gently slide that on. And line up the holes. Because this goes in. It's pretty snug. And we're going to grab those screws again. And something I always recommend when you're doing stuff like this, start all the screws before you tighten any one down. So get them all in there and started. Sometimes you get one in and it's shifted a bit and you'll tighten it down and it wedges it in and it won't allow the rest of them to line up very nicely. And then you gotta redo all your work. So here we go. And the last one, get it started going. And with tweeters again, because this is a sealed cavity, um, it is a separate cavity for the tweeter inside the box, so there's no base going into this, but I'm still very uh, careful always. Almost do it like a tire, or I'll snug this up a bit, you know, just to make sure that it seats nicely, because you don't want any air leakage. Depending on your speaker, it may be one large cavity. This one isn't, but I still want to make sure that I seat that in really nicely. go perfect so there we have it that new tweeters installed and uh, we'll go back and uh, let's take a look at our results So there you go, as I'm swiping back and forth now on uh, those you see that dip at 4K is far less. I gotta get my arm out of the way. There you have it. All right, so today we uh, replaced the tweeter there in uh, that right speaker and it brought that 4K, that little bit of presence that I was missing, brought it back up in that side. Of course, there's gonna be some variations between the two speakers, just from the room acoustics itself. So, I mean, reflections in the room and stuff like that. I have treated the room fairly nicely, but hey, you're gonna have those uh, slight inconsistencies. But even sitting down after that and not even looking at a spectrum analyzer, but just mixing and playing that same song I was working on it was like oh yeah there's 
there's that acoustic guitar because it was just kind of the top of the acoustic that wasn't popping through. It was weird. Um, so, success. Uh, as usual, DurhamCountyBand.com. If you like country music, come check us out. Durham County Band right here on YouTube. We've got lots of fun videos and stuff like that. Also, Pete Wheeler. You can get to Pete Wheeler stuff here on YouTube. We've got lots of uh, little things coming up. And also on DurhamCountyBand.com slash Pete Wheeler kind of thing. Um, yeah, so another, uh, another successful video. If you like what we're doing, please subscribe. Keep you in the loop. And uh, we'll see you next time.